Hi, it's Sherry with Blessed Baubles, and thanks for coming back. We're finishing off big giant bag number three of our 37 pound Shop Goodwill box of jewelry. And it's a biggie, and we've already found some really cool pieces. I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I know it's not high tech if you're new to my channel. I'm not a high tech person, but I hope you'll have a great time when you're here. I would love it if you'd subscribe, and if you don't want to miss the next video, hit the bell. If you go to the video title, you can tap on subscribe, and you can also hit the like button and the bell, so it'll notify you. Also, let's get business out of the way, and this is the way you can order pieces of jewelry that you see that you might like to buy. You can email me at, eBay, at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please give me the video name with its episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, brief description, and their prices. If you do that, I'll be able to find your pieces very easily. I don't need screenshots. I just need to know the video name and the timestamp, those four pieces of information, because then I can go right to the video and make sure that that's really what you're asking me for. Sometimes there can be a couple of pieces of jewelry in the same video that might sound alike, and I really want to go right to the video timestamp and make sure that that's the piece you want because I want to make sure you get what you want, okay? So let's start out right away with this very pretty faux pearl stretch bracelet that is, it's okay but I sure wouldn't want it to go bing, bang, boing when somebody put it on, so. This is a great craft piece. Maybe it's gonna be our first craft jar piece. I never have them ready. I always think of this at the last second, which I think is good because then I think of a name at the last second. So what are we gonna call this one? Let's call this one, um, I know. We have an honored Miss Prissy. I'm going to call this craft jar Miss Prissy. I know this is not showing up really well, but I will definitely get my bigger marker out. I just had to buy a new one at the store. So this is our Miss Prissy craft jar. And for those just joining me, we have I don't know how this ever came about, but we started building craft jars during the video, and it's been a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoy it. So this is our first deposit into the jewelry hospital so that these beautiful pieces can find a way to get a beautiful new life and to reach some jewelry doctors and nurses that can fix them up. So I hope you like that, I really do. So what have we got here? It looks like natural howlite. Ooh, I see some matching earrings, nice. And here's our other earring from the other video, the tricolor earring so I'll just put that aside for the momento another party ring yeah okay this so you know how a lot of times we see how light that's dyed to look like turquoise well this is how light in its natural state it's quite a beautiful stone it's naturally white with the black veins in it but I think they use it to imitate turquoise a lot because it takes up dye very well so this is a Howlite necklace. Now, I do see an earring hooked on to it. We'll have to see if there's another. Let's figure out how this goes. Of course it's a Chico's. Chico's are so beautiful. And they put real stone in their jewelry. That's nice. This is in such great condition, I can't even tell you. It's just like it's never been worn. I don't see any wear on it trying to clip it to the Rolo extension. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Here's all your different beads. These are silver tone. These are gold tone. Come on over here, lighty light. I turned my light, but then it sort of spins back on me. Come on, stay over here, baby. So we have silver tone, gold tone. We've got how light. And we've got the Chico hang tag right here. Great condition. Three tier, is it? 
I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what it looks like on the neck. This is a pretty one, sure. All right. Looks like there's a quite an extension chain. So you could size it. But that's a nice piece. And if any of you are starting to collect Chico's, which would be a great idea, this would be a great piece to collect or to wear. It's very pretty. All right, let me get you some measurements on this lovely, lovely necklace. It's a lot of stone on there. Okay, if you're to clasp it there, well, not easy to do this because there's three tiers, but we'll get it. 14 inches on the first, and then you'll have another four inches, so 18 inches total length from this part to this part. Then you have the others that hang a bit lower. It's a good heavy piece. I'm going to say 15 on the Chico's. Okay, let's see what else we have. I can't stand it. I want to reach way to the back of the bag because there's a piece of coral in there. And I'm dying to know about it. But I also want to know about this pretty baby. Oh, this is our earring too that goes with that. Hmm. Okay, uh, matching earrings. If we find both earrings, then I'll let you know then and we'll add a couple dollars to the necklace. They are also in excellent condition, or it is anyway. Let's hope for the other one. I would love to just look for it now, but there's so many pieces in here that I don't know if I could find it. Oh my gosh, there's so many pretty pieces. I can't wait. Oh, I see natural stone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Is that Labradite? No, that's another piece of that fiery opal. Was that an earring? It is the other earring. Okay, if you saw my last video, you saw this, I can't tell if it's glass or acrylic, but look at it, how it just throws off these orange colors. And I just said out of my head opalite, but I don't know if that's what it is. There's a little fuzz in there. But we found the second one. Wow. These are really stunning. Really stunning earrings. So I hope you've commented by now in my other video as to what you think those are. I don't know what to price them at. Um, they have a lot going on. Why don't I say 18 and we'll just see what happens. But that's amazing, that color that they throw out there. Beautiful. Okay, back to our other pretty baby. It is on a darker silver tone chain. It is acrylic. Isn't that cute? Look at the beads. They have these cute little end caps on them. I just love it. Oh, it's so cute. All right, you know what I'm going to do? Clasp it at the exten full extension so it doesn't tangle on me again. And let's get a measurement. This is so pretty. I love the purple. Oh, you know, I had someone on eBay ask me for a jewelry jar and they want purple pieces in it. And there's quite a few purple in here. Maybe I'll tell them to come watch the video. 16 inches and a 3 inch extension. And I'm going to say 8 on this. And if the purple pieces don't sell, I'll make her a jewelry jar. She's very sweet. So that's that one. Might as well pull out the next purple piece. Look at this. It's beautiful. It's on a navy blue cord. That's nicely woven. I've never seen one that thickly woven. This, I'm going to guess, is coconut shell. Then you have a silver tone purples, blues. Is this a Chico piece? Oh my goodness, it is marked. Can I call them or what? I mean, I just had a feeling with such quality and such gorgeousness, it had to be a Chico's. 
That's so fun. It's so fun when you can start recognizing the makers and the brands. I mean, I can't do that a lot, but it's so fun to be able to do it at all. So let's get some jewelry sounds. Nice. Super nice. I love that. Look at that. Okay, measure time. Chico's are definitely collectible. 16 inches. They're going to be the Monet's of the future. And a three and a half inch extension. Lovely. Purple's hard to find. That would look great with jeans, a white shirt, anything. All right, we'll say 15 on that. Okay, I can't stand it. I have to see what this stone piece is. It looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I think it's carnelian, which melts my heart. Just another Chico's. I don't see a mark, but looks like there was a tag here. Okay, look at this. This is all stone. Oh my goodness. Filigree beads. It's like a lavender, orange, multicolor. Look at this one. I hope you can really see this. Look how beautiful that is. And then you have this medallion piece. That's the back of it. Wow. Okay, so my gem buddies, if you can tell me what these are, I think you said if I hold them in front of the camera for 30 seconds, I think that's a long time, but let me do this. Let's put it on the neck and maybe the people that need to see the stones closer can see them against the white. Not sure. My light's not cooperating. Okay, I'm gonna go in close. Beautiful, right? All right, let's get Miss Prissy and see what she has to say about this. They are cold. This is so pretty. This might have to be a catch and release for me. All right, let me make sure I'm staying in focus. And I am going to see if the clasp is marked. Mm, don't think it's sterling. It might be silver plated over brass. That's my my take on that. But let's see what these are going to test as. So if they test in the garnet area, then they're definitely carnelian. So come on over, Miss Prissy. Show them what we got. Try to get you in close. Now, for those just joining me, this is a Presidium gem tester, and it tests the hardness of stones, and it can give you a really good idea of what kind of stone you have. It's just a tool, and it's a great way to get an idea of what the stone might be. Let me show you the screen close up so you can see. So if the needle lands in the middle of any of these black bars, then you look at the three or four words that are under it, and it tests in that range. Okay, just letting you know. So I'm gonna put this little tiny tip of this pen onto one of these beads, or probably several of them. We'll see where it goes. All right, it's going right in the middle of Chrysophrase Emerald Nephrite. Let's do another one. Oops, it's very slippery, so it's hard to do. I would say, I, mm, it's really hard, guys. There's so many stones, and with this stone being different colors, it's going to be hard to tell what it is. This is going in the quartz amethyst. I'm having a feeling with the orange colors in there that it might be the host rock for for um, carnelian, but I don't know. Stones are tough. These are testing carnelian. These I can say. 
are probably carnelian. But I don't know. It's it's really tough. They're gray, orange pieces here, carnelian pieces here, beautiful filigree beads in between. Um, lobster clasp, gorgeous medallion. Let me measure it for you and zoom out. My voice sounds a little down because I don't like when I can't really tell what something is. I just want to give good information. But you know what? We can't know everything. I never said I was an expert. So this is 18, 19 inches total length. And all I can do is give you the information that I have and go from there. And if you love something, you're going to want it anyway. So let's say 23 on this all stone necklace with the beautiful brass findings okay that's going to make a great um the little thumbnail for me that'll be a good thumbnail okay this is a cool definitely a cool piece i love that i'm not finding junky things in here it's just another good bag which is so 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 much of a relief it's not only is it fun to open a bag of nice jewelry, but it's nice to offer nice jewelry, too. So I am definitely grateful. Oh, my gosh, that's so cute. I'll have to show you that in a minute. That's so cute. Okay, we got it out. Chico's, I bet you. I almost wanted to say it when I was getting it out of the bag, but look at it. It's all silver tone. It's so awesome. I'm such a Chico's fan, I can't help it. I never thought I would be, but look at the size of that lobster claw. The extension, it's got a couple of chains here. Hammered silver tone, it's just a great piece. There is some glue here, but who's gonna see the back when you're wearing it? Wow, okay. Let's give you a shot of how it looks on. Stunning, right? Look how much shimmer you're going to have on both sides. And then all this lovely, yummy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. And can you see the little sort of geometrical design on each, on not each bead, but on some of the beads? And how these look potato pearlish. That's Chico's. They always give these little extra details and the little bit of enamel paint that gives the extra really glamour on the, the edge of those pieces. So pretty. I'm so impressed. Can't wait to get to the other pieces. They're so stunning. Okay. Hope you're having a good time. I love doing these videos and I love how supportive you all are. You've been great. Okay, this is 16 inches, and then you have a nice long extender of 4 inches. So, do you love it? It's Chico's. It'll never lose its value, I don't think, in my opinion. Great piece, great to wear, good condition. Let's say $12 on this one. What a thumbnail I am going to have. Oh. I'll have to get that. Okay, this. Look at. Can you stand it? It's a little basket weave earring. Just cut it out. Cut it out. It's so cute. I can't even deal. This basket weave piece was in this big bag of jewelry and it survived. I hope the other one is going to survive too. Okay, there's so many pieces I want to grab. I don't know what to get first. Let's get this one, because I think I see a mark on it. It's a mess. It's all tangled. But I think I see a mark on the this part of it. So let me see what it says. It says Italy. And the other side says IBB925. Nice. So we have a sterling chain. So if I were to detangle this, 
What is its issue? Is it broken here? No, it's not broken at all. Look, the other little clasp is there. It just needs a little bit of TLC to get it, you know, movable again. But what a lovely texture to this chain. And look how long it is. That is a long sterling chain. Wow. I kind of want to price it, but what if it has a pendant? I don't know. <gasps> is this our other basket earring? I think so. <gasps> oh, it's, uh, it's broken. Oh, it's broken. I thought I saw the, there's the top of it. Okay, I think it can be fixed. I think could probably put that back down in there and glue it. Oh, they're so cute. I can't even deal. I'm going to have to put them in the craft jar. Well, that's okay. I mean, maybe someone's going to love them as much as I did. Miss Prissy Craft Jar. Super awesome basket weave earrings go to the jewelry hospital poor babies all right what are we doing with this super awesome ibb really cool glittery chain let me measure it anyway and see because you don't usually see a sterling silver chain this long it's a 24 inch i love that I am going to say, since it's so unique, can you see the texture to it, how shimmery it is? I will say 24 on the chain, and we'll see if a pendant comes up for it. We don't know yet, but that's different. I have not seen a chain like that before. Okay, what are you? This is kind of cool. Are those abalone buttons? They look it, don't they? I don't know. The stripe is kind of... I don't know. But it's pretty. Look at these glass beads. They're like a, a teal medium blue. They're not teal. They're just a pretty blue. That's a lovely boho looking piece. I like that a lot. I love that it's glass. I love the quality and I love those buttons. I don't know if someone made it or it's sold by a company, but it is seven to seven and a half inches. And I will say 15 on this. It's a nice weighty all glass will last you forever bracelet. Pretty for sure. Okay, what have we got here? Looks to be a necklace. Oh, okay, I should have memorized what this um, what this metal is that makes these wraparound bracelets. I just had it out the other night. So we had one of these in another video and I kept saying, kept laughing because it was sticking together. And then a couple of you told me that that's what it's supposed to do because it's a wrap bracelet. So we have another one of these, one of those, but look at the beads. They're red with the gold enamel. Then they have these metallic beads, orange colors, really pretty. Why don't we say, oh, I love how it kind of goes together like that. Isn't that cool? Why don't we say um, $6 on that? Okay, come on, what's next? I see something yellow. Don't often see yellow jewelry. Look at this piece. Is that delicious? Oh my deliciousness. I love these ovals and then look at these teardrop shape. It is acrylic. It's on gold tone. I love how it's put on like that. And then it's on this sort of 80s kind of style chain that is gold tone. I like it. 
I don't think there's any jewelry I don't like. They're all so beautiful. So I probably say I like it to everything, but I really do like it. Who isn't going to like this cute, cute thing? And I'm sure if you had this on, you're going to be noticed. Now I do see some seams, which is cool because that means those are molded acrylic or lucite, probably lucite pieces. It is measuring 18 inches with an extension of two and three, extension of three inches, sorry. So that is super fun. Maybe we'll find some earrings that match, I hope so. We'll do this for $8. Okay, we have a red statement necklace. That's cool, faceted red statement. Oh, it's on a Rolo chain, which is fun. So this is red acrylic and gold tone um, prong set looking pieces, which is cute. Nice heavy Rolo chain extension. Is that a little heart thing? Yeah, it's a little heart thing at the end. I'm not sure if that pertains to a certain maker. There's a little bit of wear right here on the chain, but the rest of it's pretty good. Well, actually, it's a little bit of wear here, just here and there on the Rolo, so just be aware of that. It's not terrible, but just want you to know. I like how these go get bigger and smaller. Okay, this is 16 inches with three inch extender, and we will do five on the red statement necklace. Oh, I can't help to think what a great thumbnail this is gonna be. Okay, what are you? I love this silver tone pendant. Tell me it's another Chico's. I'd be happy if it is, because they're nice pieces. Now, is this all one piece or two? We'll soon find out. Hmm. All right, I do. It is a Chico's. <laughs> it's another Chico's. They're so nice. Wow. And I, you know, I don't think I've had two of the same Chico's necklaces either. And that's saying a lot because I have opened how many pounds of jewelry by now? If you think about the 20 pound boxes, the 21 pound boxes, the 38 pound, lots of pounds. Oh, wait a minute, it is two necklaces. Because look, I see a little tag here that maybe says Roman. So it is two. So stay tuned or I'm going to have to detangle this off camera because it is a little bit of a situation here. Situation. Oh, I know what I'm not doing right. See, I was thinking it was the same necklace, so I wasn't unclasping it, but now I'm going to unclasp. That. See that? Just use the brain, Sherry. So the Roman one has a giant lobster class. That's a nice piece, too. Okay. Are those the matching earrings attached to it? How sweet is that? I mean, how many thrift stores do that? I don't think many. I'm really happy with this box. That, so let me make sure what this tag is, because we had two of them, and I don't want to be wrong. So this is the Roman necklace with matching earrings. Wow. Pretty. It has silver tone chain and it has a really nice um, cording that's braided. It does feel like it's leather and it does feel nice. So I'm going to leave the earrings right there. They are lever back. Let me show you the pendant up close. Such quality, nicely done. And the cutie earrings with the lever back. Nice, great condition. Let me measure the necklace. Tell me about Roman in the comments, if you will. 
I, I'm not real familiar with them. I should just look them up because now I'm getting, you know, quite a few pieces of Roman. Looks like a 15 inch with a three inch. So 18 inches, beautiful medallion, matching earrings. We'll do 15 on this. Okay. You have to be kidding me. Look at this. This is a necklace. All right, let me go back to the Chico's first because I think we're just gonna get ourselves in a tangle again if I don't. All right. This has some very nice silky cords to it. Look at those beautiful quality glass pearls, faceted black beads and faceted smoky silver tone beads. This is very, very nice. Does need a little bit of untangling, but I think you get the idea. I think I just have to pull that through there, yeah. That's beautiful, it's very elegant looking. I love the Rolo. Look at the condition again. Really great. Let me make sure it's, yeah, Chico's. Okay, measure again, because you're gonna wanna know, if you're in love with this, you're gonna wanna know what it measures. Okay, pretend that we clasped it to the closest place. Measures 19 and then nice long extension of four inches. So let's do this Chico's stunner for $10, $10 on that one. Hope you love it, that's a nice piece. Okay, look at this funny guy. Oh, I wanna be careful here. It's a long chain. Wow, what the what? Let me show you what's going on while I'm trying to get the chain out. Look at the colors. Super pretty, right? Very interesting. Okay, looks like it broke. Aw, oh, man. Aww. Nice chain. Again, excellent condition. And it has this funky pendant that I think is trying to look like coral, maybe. Isn't that cool? It probably, after it's untangled, it probably all lays like that. That's so pretty. It's gonna have to go in our Miss Prissy craft jar. So I hope you love it, because it is broken and I can't really take the time to fix it. I know I wiggle my fingers because I'm always fixing my rings. When they roll around, it bothers me. I see some shells. Let's check out the shell piece. This looks beautiful. And I see a cute little, cunning little baby. I wonder if that goes with this. All right, let's put that there. This is lovely brass tone, glass seed beads, and I have to zoom in here. And look at the pearls. Big chunks of pearls. Now, let's see. Those are faux, but these are not. And in between are these shimmery glass seed beads. It's a nice long necklace. Very long. So you could double it and wear it like that. Super nice. All right, let's see. What's the best way to measure it? Because um, hmm, I don't have a lot of workspace here when I'm videotaping. But I'll do my best. It is, oh, it's 40 inches? Yeah, it's 40 inches and it has another four inches extension. So that's that for the lovely pearl and seed bead necklace. And we'll do that one for 15. And I don't think that's a matching earring. 
it certainly is a um, mother of pearl, but we'll put it on our board and see if the mate shows up. Wait for your mate, wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. All right, I can't stand it. I think I have a clear shot for the coral necklace and I've got to see if it's coral. Okay, look at that clasp. What? I've not seen a toggle clasp like that. It definitely is coral. Oh my gosh, look at this. Can your heart just beat? Look at the center of it, how it grew and the ocean and how beautiful the colors are. I love how they cut the beads that way with that center part showing. Oh, this is so pretty. Coral. Look at these hunks of coral. I don't think they're dyed. If you look on the side, I know my light's freaking out because it's like five o'clock here. And the light, the sun starts to go down. So I don't really see any evidence of dye in there. I mean, look at that. And there's another little, so sorry guys, another little coral piece in between as spacer beads. Wow. That doesn't look dyed to me. That looks like the real true color. But look at this clasp. It's a big thing. It's, it's a necklace all in itself, you know? Bet you could probably wear the necklace with, I want to be careful. Okay, maybe it goes the other way. Yeah, it does. So you could wear this necklace like this. I'll show you. And you probably know what I'm going to say, but oh my gosh, look at that. How stunning would you look with that on? I'd wear it like that with it right there. So what do I say? Those are big hunks of coral. It's amazing how they cut the beads like that. They took a lot of time. I don't think they're dyed. This doesn't seem to me to be sterling, but it's not magneting. Let's see if I can see any marks. I think there's a little bit shorter side on the toggle that you use. And there is a little bit of a wire here, but I'm not going to say that's an issue. I think you can wrap it around and it'll be okay. It's not that there were two wires and one broke, because I see the one wire there. So that just needs to be wrapped around. So just be aware of that. Okay, let me measure it for you. Lay that there. Oh my gosh, this is one of the reasons I bought this lot was because I thought I saw red coral. So it's 18 inches. You can wear the clasp on the side. It's so heavy. Like how much coral is that? Let's weigh it. I hope I don't aggravate you, but it's just so beautiful. They don't they don't make jewelry with coral anymore. It's gonna be harder and harder to find. Wow. Okay, I want to very carefully. Four point eighty one ounces. That's a lot of ounces for a necklace. Four point eight one. Wow. Um gosh guys. I'm gonna say I mean they do go for hundreds. I don't know the difference of when they go for hundreds or when they go for less. Why don't I say 85 and just see what happens. It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I'm just speechless because it's such a naturally beautiful thing. That's so pretty. Look at the cat eye pink bead turquoise color in the green. It's going to wait for its mate. Kind of hoping there isn't a lot of earrings because they're not the easiest 
to sell and there's a lot of little, you know, little tiny things to have to handle. Okay, I think we have another statement necklace. And a little tiny baby here. We're going to throw that back away. Shiny, crystally. Excuse the arm. So this is a navy blue statement necklace. It is in good shape. Big lobster clasp, extension. Let's see. Oh, well, that's pretty how it hangs. That's quite different. Let me lay it out here and show you. Isn't that nice? Navy blue gold tone. This is, yep, that's right. That's right. Everything's there. Could use a little wipe, but you know, they're vintage pieces or older pieces. So you can't expect everything. All right, let's see what it would measure. We've got 17 and two inches, two and a half inch extension. So if you like the navy blue statement piece, we'll do that for $6. Here's another one. I remember having one this color on another video and it sold. It's like a cranberry blue. And I think I said, if you need this color for a certain outfit, which I can see how someone would, it's a very different color. And it looks, you know, it looks like it's a deeper glass, but it is acrylic. They just did a great job. So that's the shape of it. I'd say it's slightly a statement necklace. Let me make sure it's gonna lay okay and not be funky. Um. I'm not liking the wear on the chain though. I think it's a little too much wear. So I think this is gonna go in, let's see, does it fit okay in the Miss Prissy? It does. We're gonna put it in here and we'll fit some other great stuff in there too. So what's next here? Ooh, okay. This is a bobble. This is definitely the bobble of bobbles. What's the name? I'm sure you can see. It's called Natasha. Hmm. I don't know that name. Oh my. It's beautiful. So these are acrylic, but these are glass. Look at the size of those prong set roundels, I think they're called. So they're all the way around, glass stones in there, and they have prong set. This is acrylic. These are glass pearls. This is gorgeous. There is a little bit of wear on that bead. See that? But I love how they suddenly have this stunning amber color bead right there. Just on each side, one on each side. It's pretty. There you go. So that is quite the bobble. Nice Rolo chain. It is a darker color chain and just a little piece of fuzzy fuzz there. So let me scroll out again. Show you on the neck quickly. Wow. That's quite a unique piece. There's so many different textures. Look at that one. Beautiful. I love it. That's going to make a great thumbnail too. I have so many pieces that I can't put them all in the, each thumbnail, so it's fun to pick out which ones I want. Um, 18, 19 inches with a 2 inch extender. And I haven't seen that name before, but it's a lot of glass, some acrylic. Good Rolo chain condition, let's say $12 on that. Really pretty, pretty, pretty. Maybe we'll find some earrings to match. Okay, a few more pieces. I'm going to have to wrap up again this video. Oh, here's our other earring with our pink cat eye glass. Cool, huh? 
This is a dyed glass, and that's probably acrylic. The, the hooks do look sterling, but... So that would magnet right there, because that's holding this together. But the hooks aren't. I'll have to look in the loop and see if I can see some marks. If not, they certainly have a really good silver plating. I'm not going to bother, like, bothering the little hooks. I'm just going to say $8 on these. And can you see the blue and the green up top? Just gorgeous. Very, very lovely. I don't want those to fall. Okay, there they go. Okay, let's see what else. What else do we have? What are you? What the what? Do I finally have a piece of cinnabar? No, it's coral. Oh my gosh, it's coral again. Look at this. Can you see how from everything we've learned about coral with the little rings in it, like you'd see a piece of wood? I, I'm i assuming that's a piece of coral. I don't think cinnabar would do that. Look how they carved a piece of coral. Oh my gosh, I wish my light wasn't doing this to me. What? All right, I'm going to have to look at this. This looks like it's on a sterling bale. I wonder, yes, it says 925 inside. I wonder if that went on that beautiful chain. That long sterling chain that we did. Hmm. It could. It's underneath a bunch of other necklaces now, but it might go on that. It could. I don't know. I'll have to research this carved like that. That took a lot of work. Let me see what that goes for with the sterling. Get back to you. I don't want to give an unfair price and I don't want to throw something out there that it doesn't sell or you know this is a cool thing look at that for a bead that's a lot of texture really cool this is all lucite um and acrylic oh let's see this nice stretch on it there's nothing wrong with that at all look at those green colors and yellows and tarnished silver and the filigree oh it's marked yay it's marked okay what is that mark um okay i have seen this in the past but it's a p and it looks it's like a square shaped p Oh boy, I don't know. I can't remember. It was something I had a while back. It does say something on the other side too. Maybe the same thing. Yes. It almost looks like a P and then a little L. I don't know, but it is marked. It is nice. And I'll say 10 on that. Stretch bracelet. My stretch is in good shape. This looks like another Howlite piece. Oh, it's a bracelet. Okay, this goes with the necklace. Now I can't remember if it was on our last video. The Howlite necklace or this one because I'm taping them back to back. So it all feels like the same day to me because it is the same day. Um... Okay, what we'll do is this. This is definitely the matching bracelet to that necklace. And I will say, how light, wasn't that a Chico's? Wow. Look at the gold tone, it's in great shape. Let's say another seven for the bracelet and you can add it to your necklace or you can buy it separate, whichever you wanna do. And I will put that with it. Okay, this is something else I saw in the picture and I'm dying to know what it is. Oh, it's a little bit broken. Right there. 
Oh my. Oh my gosh, it's all rhinestones. All of it. So all this purple is all rhinestones. It feels so luxurious. Oh my gosh, is that beautiful. So what about this part? This feels acrylic and just looks like a, you know, a textured purple. Look how it changes the colors though. What did they do? All rhinestones. And they wrap around in another, like they, they wrap over each other. See how this one goes up and then it goes under this one? This is so stunning. I don't even know what to say. Um, my heart's broken that it's a little bit broken, but I don't think that's going to be a big deal. Right here, here it is. I think a little dab will do ya. Like a little dab of glue would not be the worst thing right there. I think it would still move nicely. What do I say on this necklace? This is really tough, guys, when you get these pieces that you just don't know. Have no idea how old it is, young it is. I do know it's gorgeous. I mean, oh, I can't even talk right now. All purple stones. Okay, I know what I want to do. I want to see if they're all prong set. Oh, yes, they are. Every one of them prong set. Okay. I'll measure it, and I'm going to give some kind of price. And oh, I don't know. I'll be very gentle with it. Make sure that it's well taken care of. It's not going to be easy to measure either. Um, let's try this. Let's go along the necklace here. Yeah. And here. This is the best I can do, guys, because I don't want to stretch it out and, and bother any more of those beads. So I'm coming to 14 inches, and then we have this long extension to it goes to 19 inches in total. What would you ask for that? All those rhinestones. How unusual that it wraps around like that. And on the bottom, it has another layer. I don't know, 35 for this purpley thing? 35? The chain is in great shape. I just want to be careful with it. So I'll say 35. You tell me what you think. And oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this bag. This is super fun, but I'm going to have to sign off again. I might have to start putting in little clippets in between my videos of how to buy the jewelry because this bag has been so exciting that I haven't stopped at all to tell you how to buy it. Oh, look at this. What are you called? White House... Um, White House Black Market. All glass, crackly glass. Absolutely stunning. Look at the extender. Oh my gosh. What a beautiful bag of jewelry. I just don't even know what to say. This is beautiful. White House Black Market is very expensive jewelry. Oh my gosh, right? It's beautiful. I, I, you can't see me, but I'm shaking my head like this is unbelievable. Super awesome bag. Super awesome box of jewelry, really. It is 15 inches. I think that's an, ex yeah, it is an extender because you could hook it to those other rings right there so this is an extension 
and the extension is two more inches. White House Black Market, all real glass, crackle glass. I'm gonna say 25. If you walked into the store, it'd probably be way more. But I do have to, I do have to sell the pieces. I've got to keep them moving. All right, it's really hard to stop, guys. I don't want to stop at all. There's some great looking pieces in here. I see our other cutie little orange one. But I do have to finish up our craft jar so that we finish it up with this video. But wow, right? The coral pieces, the stunning necklace from the last video. If you didn't see that, you've got to go back and see it. Really beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to dip into my, all the great things I saved for you guys to make craft jars with. What else are we going to put in the Miss, Chris, Miss Prissy craft jar? We have... Ta -da. Let's see. Oh, this looks like a nice piece. It's silver tone tassel. Oh, I think this is just one of those you tie it when you wear it. So not a thing wrong with it. Just thought someone could craft with it. That goes in. This looks like a necklace pendant. I don't even remember this where I got it. So that goes in. Let's see. Oh, yes. Remember, I was adding these gorgeous crystal beads. Those are real crystal. So that's on a stretch, but the stretch is gone. So I was adding one of those to each jar. And we've got some pretty rings, some a gold bracelet, gold tone. This looks like a pair of earrings that broke. Oh, they're so cute. Clip-ons. Those can go. Shake it down. Get it as full as we can. Some gold tone um, angel wings. This is that pair from the last video. Beautiful earrings, but they just are broken. That can be easily fixed. We've got some... This is another pair of earrings that just needs to be fixed, or you can use them for craft. Whichever. Little Christmas sort of bulb earrings. A couple of rings. Some more earrings. Again, nothing wrong with a lot of it. You can wear it, but and you can craft with that. So what else do I have? Lots of pretties. Ooh. Okay, this is special. This is a Lisner brooch that's going in the craft jar. I'm sorry, earring, clip on. It's marked Lisner, but it's missing a stone, I think, right there. And this is that special, oh, I wish I could think of every name of everything, but I can't. Some kind of poured glass. And all it needs is one AB crystal right there. And you have a Lisner earring, you could make it into a necklace. Whichever. Some, oh, look at these little cloisonne clip ons. Aren't they sweet. Not sure what was wrong with those. Oh, it's missing one of the stones or something. I don't know. Little cute butterfly. Some real pearls. A chain that seen better days. And this is so pretty. I looked at this for the longest time. I love the look of it. it. Has cat eye glass. Just love that sweet little leaf. And some more cat eye there. It's a necklace pendant. You could put that on a chain if you wanted to. What else do I have? Lots of special things. Oh yes. This was from the last time I was making craft jars. So there's some beauties in here. These are shell. This is a piece of coral, blue coral. These are faux, but they're nice. Pieces of glass. They're all beads with a hole in the middle. So 
and certainly make something nice out of them. Some more shell, beautiful purple. That looks like a crystal. Put some of those in there. Just need a little bit more. Couple earrings, howlite, shell. Lots of little littles in there. That's gonna make a nice, nice craft job. Hear me rattling around looking for more things. I'm trying to give a really good variety. Hmm, this is so pretty. Maybe I'll do this one. Beautiful. Looks so sterling silver necklace bail, but it's sterling plated. Isn't that handsome? So we'll put that there. And I gotta get it going. So what else, Sherry? Come on, pack it up here. Pack it up. This is that beautiful um pearls on one side, ABs on the other, and it's missing one there. And we have a lovely chain, but it needs to be fixed. So that would even look really great on there. Really nice. Okay, I hope you love it. I have fun making them and I try to put really nice stuff in there for you. I give it a, a good shake, pack it down. And this one weighs 10.51 ounces and it is the Miss Prissy Craft Jar. I'll write it on there much better. Okay. So thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you'll subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you love any of these pieces, and you've got to love them, there's some beauties in this video. Here is how you would purchase. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Give me the video name, episode number, time stamps, brief description of the pieces, and the prices and I'll be able to find the pieces for you and get back to you, okay? So I appreciate that very much. I appreciate you being here, and I appreciate your comments. I'm so into the jewelry that I forget to say, you know, please go give a like. I forget to say all those things that I really need to say because it would help the channel so much. But I can't do anything about that. I just love what I'm doing. So... Hopefully you'll go put a like on the video on your way out right now. I would love that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start working on this very, very beautiful thumbnail that's going to have this gorgeous, unbelievable coral and this beautiful yellow piece. I'll have to play around and see what I want to do here. Thumbnails are really fun. If they get too busy, they don't look right. So I don't put a lot of pieces in them. But I'll work on that. And, oh, it is this video that the necklace is in. So that's good to know. The one with the matching bracelet that's right here. So you can put those two together if you want to. You know the two different prices of those. So, all right. Thanks so much for joining me. I had a great time. I hope you love these beautiful pieces, and I'll see you next time at the Bobbles.